Hurricane season officially starts this Friday, but as we saw this past weekend, extreme weather and destruction can happen anytime. This was the scene in Ellicott City, Maryland, where torrential rain turned streets into raging rivers, sweeping cars and trees right through the center of the community. And while living along a river can be dangerous, living on the ocean comes with an even greater risk. And Boston, like New York, New Orleans, and Houston, could also end up in the crosshairs of a devastating coastal storm. One big idea to protect the city, build a wall in the water. How would it work? How much would it cost? Stephanie Lydon has answers. A barrier wall designed to protect Boston Harbor would be big. Big enough that if you were strolling along the water's edge, you'd be able to see it. Off that hotel, essentially, there'd be like an island. Off the point here, there would be like an island. And the gates would swing into those islands into like dry docks when they're open. And then when a storm comes, they would swing close. A gate in the water may sound like pie in the sky, but there are similar structures around the world, like this one in the Netherlands. Paul Kirschen, a professor at UMass Boston's School for the Environment, led a study into the feasibility of a barrier gate in Boston's inner harbor and one that would be the largest in the world, connecting Deer Island in Winthrop four miles south to the town of Hull. So what did his team conclude? Right now, it doesn't make sense for Boston to consider using barriers at least for a couple of decades. The main reason? It's not worth the money. Constructing a gated barrier in the harbor would be the aquatic equivalent of Boston's big dig, costing anywhere from 6 to $12 billion, and it would take decades. As we saw during January's Bombo Genesis storm, floods severe enough to shut down streets and tea stops are already here. So if a wall in the harbor won't work, what will? Waterfront parks like this one, says Kirshen, built on a slope that sends swells back into the ocean. Low-lying streets, he says, can be protected with retractable fences. The cost of protecting Boston's coastline from the land with new parks and walls and open space over the next couple of decades could cost between one and two billion dollars. Boston's a wealthy city. We should be able to handle this. The consequences of not dealing with the coastal flooding are severe. In other words, paying to protect the city is a lot cheaper than paying the price of a devastating storm. Stephanie Lydon, WGBH News. The Harbor Barrier Wall study highlights great unknowns, how much and how fast sea levels will rise. By the end of the century, water levels in Boston Harbor could be at least seven feet higher than they are now, although the study does point out that if greenhouse gas emissions go down, the rate of sea level rise could be limited to less than two feet. 